What's up everyone? Today we're going to install a Robert Axle Project trainer axle. You'll need a torque wrench with a 5mm hex key and some grease. Remove the stock axle from your bike and compare it with your Robert Axle Project trainer axle. Confirm the shaft lengths match. Check that the thread pitch is the same by lining up the threads from both axles, making sure they engage. Apply a little grease to the shaft and exterior threads of your Robert Axle Project axle. Insert it through the frame and rear wheel. Carefully engage the threads and hand tighten. Using a torque wrench, tighten the axle to 12 newton meters. Do not over tighten. Thread the trainer axle end cap on. There should be no gap between the bike frame and the axle end cap. If there is a gap, you'll need to install the included washer on the drive side of the axle. Tighten the end cap to 6 newton meters. Now that your axle is installed, you can mount your bike up into your resistance trainer. Just make sure you follow your manufacturer's instructions. Before returning to riding outside, remove your drive side axle end cap from your bike. Now your Robert axle is just a regular through axle. Now you can easily mount your bike up in the trainer with the end cap installed, or remove the end cap and get out on the road. Just remember to check those torque specs and the snugness of that rear wheel before every ride.